What we've got today is a combination which is a, an oxarin, one stride to a plank and another one stride to the plank. Uh, mo most combinations are quite straightforward, either they're 8 yards or 11 yards or 8 metres and 11 metres. This is 8 metres and 8 metres. What we, the ox are going in, you've just got to be a little bit strong going in to make sure you get the back rail and then sit up to jump the plank at the end. If we just walk this distance, one, two, three. See, that is a very normal distance for a combination. You could vary a little bit shorter or even a little bit longer, but because we're jumping an oxer in, the tendency over an oxer is to land a little bit shorter, so it makes this distance actually quite easy. This, for me, is quite an easy combination today. The only thing you need to do is a little bit of pace off the corner, jump the oxer, and then sit up and keep the body weight up to jump the vertical. If you had an oxer out, a little bit different, you know, you've got to keep a little bit of momentum to jump the back rail. And then if we walk this one again, see eight, eight again on the dot, no tricks there. Sometimes with the course builder what they might do is have eight metres on the first one and then a little bit shorter on the next one. So you get bowling in and then it's a little bit tight. And especially if it's a bat, there's a bat rail on that, you know, a little bit tight and wide. So when you walk it, you've got to work out these things. And then the different fractions that come into it are the horse, you know, he might be a big strider or he might be a short strider. Some horses jump big over an oxer or they jump backwards over an oxer. And that all goes into how you actually ride down into the combination. And then it's the jockey's job to actually either sit up and slow it down or actually have a little bit of leg into the hand so you get a big jump but going forward.